in this topic we are going to discuss the factors which affect the effectiveness of expatriates so what is first of all effectiveness of expatriates as you may know that in the last topic we discussed that the expatriates they serve different various roles in the organization where they go uh, in the host country to manage the subsidiary uh, so uh, we want to uh, analyze or we want to know uh, what are the factors which makes them more effective expatriates in the host country and uh, if those factors are present then those expatriate managers will be more successful more effective and if the factors are missing if those elements are missing then it is possible that the expatriates is not going to be that successful or effective in performing those particular roles all right so the first factor which is important to make an expatriate manager more effective is environment of openness and support for cross fertilization of ideas for best practices so it is an aspect of organizational culture that there should be a culture of openness and then there should be a culture of support so if uh, and and these things should be present within the uh, subsidiary as well as between the headquarter and the subsidiary management so this headquarters should be open to ideas ye na ho ke aapka jo expatriate manager hai wo headquarters ko koi idea deta hai to uh, on on the headquarter side the idea is not taken with a open mind and similarly support is very much important so if support is not given to the expatriate manager that is also going to affect uh the evolution of best practices which are required for that particular context so um uh, an environment of openness and support is a very important aspect for making an expatriate manager successful in his various roles uh then the second important aspect is that uh the need of knowledge and information to travel dyadically uh dyadically means two way dyadically means that uh, there is a dyad between headquarter and the subsidiary management and dyad uh, is uh, is a partnership it's not that the knowledge and information should only flow from the headquarters to the subsidiary and not back from the subsidiary to the headquarters unless you are not taking in knowledge and information uh on the other side as well which means from the host country from the subsidiary to the headquarters then the uh, mixing of knowledge is not going to be possible it's not going to lead to different various formation of different various perspectives and that is definitely not going to make the subsidiary manager uh, that effective so the knowledge and information should transfer uh from top down uh, as well as from down up uh then the third factor which affects uh, the effectiveness of the expatriate manager is duration of the assignment uh if the person is coming for a very short period of time uh if he is on a rotational role uh if he is given a short term assignment uh then uh, the, that person may not be very much effective in serving the role of um and uh, of a socializer serving the role of uh, a network builder because as a situation may that person is not going to get the opportunity to know the place to know the culture to make relationships to know what is happening in that particular context so duration is very much important so if a person is given an assignment for more than one year then a person can serve those various different roles uh, in a more uh, effective manner then it also depends on the type of knowledge if the knowledge is something which is explicit knowledge uh, you would know that the type of knowledge is uh, it, either it is explicit knowledge or is it it is implicit knowledge it is just called which is called tacit knowledge tacit knowledge is something which is learnt in a longer period of time because tacit tacit knowledge is something which you uh, gain by observing and 
uh, which is something which is intangible, which you just cannot transfer just by giving a lecture or just by showing how to do a worksheet or how to uh, do a particular assignment. Uh, it is something which is transferred in a, it is in a long period of time. So um, if the knowledge is explicit, something which can be transferred, which can be written down in notes, which can give, be given in a lecture, or which can be told to other people, it is something which will, be, which will be transferred pretty quickly. But if it is something that is tacit knowledge, that person has to move around and stay in that position and show the other people, the employees, how something is done. So usually things like soft skills, uh, like leadership, like management, like stress management, time management, uh, soft things which are part of uh, the uh, of a of a manager's uh, role plays. Uh, those are learned in a longer period of time, and because they involve tacit knowledge, so the type of knowledge is going to affect the um, uh, the success of the expatriate. Then another important aspect which, uh, uh, which contributes towards the success of the expatriate is his own ability to teach and motivate others. So everybody is not the same. If the person has uh, good teaching skills, he has the ability to convince others, he has the ability to inspire others, he has the ability that people get impressed by that person, he has got charisma, he has got... Uh, character, he has got uh, knowledge, skills and abilities, then people are going to follow that person. But if the person does not have those abilities, if the person is somebody who is an, inno uh, who is in a, an introvert type of a person who does not um, uh, communicate with others very often and very effectively, then he will not be able to transfer knowledge, won't be able to socialize and build those networks which are really very much required uh, from an expatriate manager. And then uh, it's not just the ability of the person, of the leader or uh, of the manager uh, to teach and motivate others, the people who are actually the, who are the recipients. So the respondents uh, in this situation, the employees or the subordinates, they also must be ready uh, and, and the host country employees, they should be ready to accept that person's authority, that person's, they should be ready to accept that this person is knowledgeable. He or she can teach them things which are beneficial for them, uh, that are important for them, and that will make them successful as well. So if they have got the, uh, and then they are ready in, the, in terms of their abilities as well. So if they, if they have those prerequisite abilities, they will be able to learn more. But if they don't have the prerequisite abilities, for example, if you are trying to teach, uh, some, teach a person how to do surgery, it is important that person is a medical student. So uh, that person has got the basic prerequisite skill for learning how to do surgery. So uh, that is something which is uh, important that the host country employees, they should be ready in terms of their prerequisite abilities as well as their attitude. If their attitude is wrong, for example, if, the, if they do not accept the authority of the person, um, uh, they are, uh, they, there is some uh, factor of animosity, there is some factor of belligerence, uh, there is some factor of repulsion, uh, they will not be able to accept the authority of uh, the subsidiary manager and therefore uh, the effectiveness of the expatriate manager will be lowered in that situation. So these are the factors which are important to make an expatriate manager a successful and, uh, and effective person in the subsidiary management.